Have you ever wondered how a ship passes through the Panama? Or how many miles an hour does a ship and its crew have to go through to pass from point A to point B? How does it reach the top considering the canal is 85 feet above sea level? Well, we'll be talking more about one of the most famous canals in the world, where ships cross from the Pacific down to the Atlantic and the other way around. And I'll also show you a glimpse on board how we cross the Panama Canal. Let's go! So first things first, the Panama Canal is located well in Panama. And what you see here, it is located between the two Americas. North America and South America. Let's try to close in on the map so we can see how this canal looks. Navigable water can be seen on these dots. This is the only way a ship can pass through. Total traveling distance is estimated at 50 miles pilot to pilot and at the total traveling time of 12 to 15 hours. So in this video, we are crossing from the Pacific side. Here, we see the Bridge of Americas before going in on the first set of chambers. So before entering the first lock, the ship needs to be secured to canal locomotives or, or trains, or as operators call it, mules. These mules guide the ship so it can move through the lock on a straight and steady course. The next process here is how the canal crew connect the mule lines to the ship. The people you see here are the canal crew. They are the ones who tend with the lines and advise the ship's crew with the winches. They first connect the tugboats which act as a temporary assistance on aligning the ship upon entering the lock. And once everything is fastened, the tugboats are casted off. So the first lock we're passing is the Miraflores lock. This lock has two chambers going up and it takes approximately 10 minutes to fill the chamber, leveling the ship to the next chamber. Okay, so before we lift our ship to the next chamber, let me show you how the Panama Canal system works. Our ship first goes in the chamber. There are three chambers to go up the canal and three chambers to exit down. Once the ship is inside the chamber, gates are closed behind it and water is pumped inside to lift the ship. A total of 100,000 cubic meters of water is needed to fill a whole chamber and a total of 50 million gallons to cover the whole six-stage system. And once the ship is leveled to the next chamber, the same process is expected until it reaches the top. So the Miraflores is only two out of the three-stage system of, the, of raising the ship from the Pacific. The next is the Pedro Miguel lock. This lock has only one chamber. Same procedures are done as I've said a while ago. And after reaching the last lock, I welcome you to the Panama Canal. 40 miles lock to lock an estimated 10 hours of travel, and a couple of scenic views to admire. And after a 40 mile journey, we now reach the Gatun Lock. This lock has a complete three stage lock system. Exiting the canal is also similar as entering. However, water is pumped out to lower the ship. It also takes approximately 10 minutes to pump out water from the chamber to level the ship to the adjacent chamber. Locks are then opened as waters level. And on exiting the last lock, Puente Atlantico or the Atlantic Bridge welcomes you to the Atlantic side. So that's a seafarer's POV of the Panama Canal. Hey, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you love it, subscribe. Peace.